saying? A nigga seen me doly. I seen Tim. Um, oh, what a surprise. I kept moving like ain't nothing happened. Come on, man. So when niggas trying to come paint clowns and this thing, bro, if I was a, a get, think about when New Orleans was. If I was a shock blogger, what I'm trying to fake act like y'all know or what y'all may know, I would have had a blog about that then. I would have had a blog that day. Oh, I see easy. So-and-so, 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 so-and-so. Right. Come on, just think about this, y'all. Think about this shit. Come on, bro. So and so my whole thing is, I ain't mad at niggas mad at how they feel, but don't start trying to paint my character like I'm some clown, like you could just play with me and do all, when you know, when y'all know me, stop fucking playing, bro. I ain't never lie. I ain't gotta lie about shit a nigga told me, bro. Fuck, lie for what, bro? I got a memory like an elephant, bro. Anybody will tell you that. Uh -huh. And again, we was just in here, Debo, when I was talking about the peace shit, and the boy act like he didn't say it, right? Didn't I have to go find a blog? Yes, you did, Come sir. on, man. So why the fuck would I be lying? And then you admit it. Well, if I said it, I said it. Bro, no, that ain't no excuses. That ain't being a man. Being a man is recognizing, you know what, Cola, you right. I apologize. I did say it. Not if I said You can see a nigga character right then and there. You know, it's hard for niggas to do that, though, bro. Bro, it is hard because, it's again, hard. bro, listen. You know what? Listen. And this ain't even no knock. Even though, listen, this is one of the knocks that John John had. Man, niggas should have got on the phone with me da -da -da -da, at the time. Bro, I ain't getting on no motherfucking phone at the time. You know why? Because my experience, I done got on the phone with battle rappers and got shit cool. Now, nah, now one of them motherfuckers come to the internet and say, you know what? Calm down, fans. That shit got cool with me and Cola. They let the fans go and keep doing what they doing. So I said, why fact. the fuck talk to you niggas? It's only one nigga I didn't talk to, bro. Just on some real shit. Maybe two. That really then came back to this internet and let you know it was solid. And that's that nigga B dot. And, and, and my cousin Wav. Man, that shit ain't nothing about me and Cole. We just talking shit. We do this all the time. And other nigga, I talk to him on the phone. And that's why I don't really be caring when nigga be saying, nigga just, bro, trust me, bro. I'm a grown motherfucking man, bro. It ain't a nigga that disrespected me on this bitch. That I'm talking to, like, as a friend and not just breaking a battle down, that ain't got on my line, bro. And that's on my mama grave. Ain't no way. Nigga ain't just playing with me like that. Ain't no fucking way, bro. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Yeah, hey, nigga, you see me. We done hollered. Trust me, because I did my due diligence to reach out, for sure. If I felt like it was needed, if I ain't feel like you was one of them type of niggas, I didn't call your phone. Cause nothing you do, nothing you do, or nothing how I feel about you scares me to feel like this shit can go further than with us. This is an argument. I'm just keeping it real. That's another reason. If I ain't called you, if a nigga said, "Hey, Cole, you want to man tone? I don't want to talk to that nigga for what? That nigga don't. He don't listen. He don't give me nothing. This shit going past what it's supposed to be. What I'm talking to him about? You tell him it's all good, and we gonna keep it moving. Tone said he told you it was good, right? Nigga, the word been mentioned. Fuck you gotta talk to me for. Like, come on, let's stop the bullshit here, man. Both of y'all. Y'all niggas need you need an intervention easy to sit the fuck back and really realize, nigga, everything ain't the people hating on you, nigga. You done got a little bit beyond yourself. And so is your entourage is now. And fro, stop doing that fucking lying snake shit, nigga. You are mm. opportunist as well. Because as well as you just tried to break down, you and Easy not doing that podcast, nigga. You're not popping if Easy don't sit on that show with you, fool. You went from 1,000 to 800 subscribers to them 3,000 because you were sitting on that podcast with that nigga, man. Let's stop playing, bro. The hottest nigga in battle rap. If Surf helped me, Easy definitely just helped you in the podcast world. Thank him. Stop acting like that man owe you some five episodes did the best thing for you. It helped you early retire. So you said, so you said, cuz ain't off you and he eating off easy. Yeah. Yeah. And then act like, yeah, you must have did something. Which talking too much. Which we know you did. Because I wouldn't be able to tell you that Chef Trash shit if you weren't talking too much. So wait a minute. You trying to tell me the easy and frozy show is over? Bro, we've been through that. <laughs> we knew they had five episodes in a pilot. Nigga out here talking about, yeah, that's my brother. You know what I'm saying? We fuck with each other. <laughs> Come on, man. 
you don't know more. That shit crazy. Man, that shit be envy from the that should be envy from the back, bro. But we gotta go with it. See, you gotta understand. One thing you gotta know about niggas is sometimes a nigga will stand against something. But when something come be something so powerful, you gotta ride with it. Cause anything else outside of what he's doing for Philly, any nigga in the area that's looking outside of that's gonna look like hate. It ain't gonna look like objectiveness. It ain't gonna look at look at this. Anything besides when a nigga going strong and hey, Ray, Ray, it's always gonna look like hate, bro. It ain't gonna look like objectiveness. You when you, when you don't know the behind the scenes, like I say, half of these fans can argue and say what, 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 but niggas don't know. I had these, these niggas, I had numbers. So as well as y'all saying Cola doing this, again, if I say something about you as my friend that you don't agree with. Your first thing is not to respond to me on the internet. It's supposed to let me know and let me know that you let me know and acknowledge that you are upset, pal. It's not for you to try to go and get in your feelings and really get back at me because if I'm just doing an open conversation on what how I feel, first get how you feel. Then you can go to Twitter and do what you do. But you can't honestly say you gotta disagree with me. You a real nigga. But your response to feeling like me violating you was back on Twitter to over violate me. That makes no sense. Real friendships don't have nothing to do with social media. My nothing nigga. at all. And again, at both times, I got into it with both of these niggas, Easy and Froze. Both of us was in contact with each other at a high rate. Mary, right there, ask her. We in, I'm in a room. In a, I'm, I'm on the phone. It's easy. She'll tell you. He, yeah, when you get back, we got a show for you coming up. So when I have a, 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 a partake on your blog that you don't like, it ain't for you to come out and now you, yeah, John, John, da, 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 niggas gonna slap the shit out you anyway. Ho, ho, ho. For me having a take on what you just did in the public, you in your feelings. Mm. And if a nigga can't see that, bro, they blind. So now I didn't turn it into Cola Hate Train. How I'm hating on the nigga that got at me for something I did, which was my job. That makes no sense, bro. Y'all got to stop this shit. And I understand there's a lot of e of y'all. Listen, cool. But again, all you niggas can overdick e and be easy fans. But when it comes to cola, man, all you do is follow surf. All you do is do... But why y'all... So what, so what y'all doing? I'm asking a question. So what are y'all doing, easy fans, that want to argue with the big speaker? What are y'all doing? I'm trying to make this shit make sense this morning. Because I need y'all to get off my dick. Disrespectfully, get off my dick, bro. I know y'all ain't seen nothing like this. I know it seemed like a nobody done gained some power, but bitch ass nigga, you ain't never walked a mile in my Air Forces, nigga. Couldn't walk a mile in my Air Forces, G. That's why you niggas ain't lit. That's why you niggas can't figure it out. And that's why y'all steady screaming from the bleachers while the nigga on the floor with floor passes watching the ball is ball. <laughs> You niggas are just y'all, y'all, the same niggas, bro. Y'all be some jealous ass niggas, bro. But y'all try to build this shit up for all the niggas that got shit, bro. I, listen, bro. I was always that nigga, bro. I play high level sports. I play high, high level game bang. I'm high level. My everybody in my hood know me, bro. I'm not well, I always been somebody, bro. I'm the beneficiary as the middle child in my family of eight kids, bro. That should tell you something. That should tell you something. That should fucking tell you something. Like, Yo, come know. on, man. Some y'all niggas ain't even got like y'all mama and them ain't got shit in y'all name to leave y'all. Y'all just on there. Mm -hmm. I get oh, to delegate this fact. shit. When it's all said and done, I'm delegating what this shit going and who get what, nigga. As the fourth child. So what that should tell you? An older brother and three older sisters. I'm the motherfucker that's finna delegate what's going on then. That mean that comes with importance, you stupid motherfuckers. That mean a nigga got me responsible for what's going on after his life is going on. And he passed four other people for that. What does that tell you, bonehead? You niggas, man. You know what's crazy, man? These niggas stating like the little individual fans that they have and shit like that. Now everybody got their little core fan base and shit that they 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 cater to. And bro, what I be mad about it. is this: these battle rappers got too much motherfucking <laughs> common sense to let a twenty three follower, a thousand following nigga tell them what the big speaker said, and that's what it be. 
I'll be seeing these niggas responding to niggas with 20, 56 followers following a thousand. Man, that nigga Cola was in the space hating. Bro, you don't let this 56 troll ass nigga spin you off like that? You can't be no street nigga, man. Can't, don't be talking that street nigga shit to me. How? You ain't even judged the facts on who told you this shit. You ain't even looked at the facts. Man, that, all you do is, man, that nigga Cola always saying something. No, bro, if y'all really want to understand this shit, it's Cola be saying the real right shit, bro. You niggas just want to make it fit to y'all agenda because y'all hate this shit. But y'all been seeing the nigga in headlines for two years. Instead, he try to act like y'all asking, who am I? When the same motherfuckers, again, if I wasn't nobody, them motherfuckers wouldn't even be arguing with me. It wouldn't be no argument to get in because they wouldn't be here. You ever ask yourself that? But we live in a place now. Everybody, all the real niggas that with no avies, with no following, with nothing going on, get to tell you your significance too. Ain't that crazy? You got niggas with no following, no picture, no nothing, get to tell you your significance to something that they ain't even around on the daily. And niggas take that type of shit to the head, bro. And a lot of you niggas never having shit or being in front of nothing and never having no power, it shows in battle rap because we see it. We see you niggas when you can't control your troops. We like, nah, this nigga ain't never been no captain. He ain't never led nothing. How? Can't even lead no battle rap. You can't even lead a battle rap crew. What crew outside you to live, fool? You can't even control your troops. They trying to become people in, within your brand instead of just being who they are. I don't get it, bro. And again, this ain't no motherfucker. Hey, again, Meek Raw in here. When it come to that, you not from Philly shit. Philly niggas started that. It wasn't no battle rap niggas. And it wasn't no niggas from outside the town. It was That was the city. Them your guys. They did it. Not us. But them Reese, them Reese fans. sat there and said, if you boy, we know you. Them fans you so, ignore that. That wasn't us. That wasn't us that he bringing up all these motherfucking DVs. That wasn't us, bro. Because my mama told me we're going in the house, stay in the house. So for motherfuckers to notice, you must have been doing out-of-pocket shit, bro. You got to assess yourself sometimes. And sometimes they can get caught in their own, the own midst of their success, bro. Sometimes you need to sit back within that success and just think, let me get out of my mind where it's fuck everybody. Let me just process what the fuck going on. And sometimes. that's what you just got in that battle, a reality check with Geechee. Mm-hmm. You got a reality check, bro. And if you didn't get one, it just show us how foolish you are, and how and how much more you just you just want to uh, glorify in the being up than just realizing like you know what, I gotta bring this shit back down because you wasn't this kid, bro. You won this dude. We watched you. See, one thing about battle rap is we don't know you as like as your friend. But as we watch you and watch you and watch you over and over again, we start learning shit. That's what I said. Exactly. We start learning shit. We start learning mannerism, character traits. We start learning shit. We start learning shit. And I definitely said, we, listen, we learned something at the face off with you and Geechee. How you can't be controlled. You hell bent on what you hell bent on. Because even then, we knew somehow niggas started speculating. He got it behind something going on with Remy. Because there's no way Remy Ma is telling you this artist is telling you to relax. Geechee barely didn't say something. And you just steady talking over her. You ain't got no self-control, brother. You you lack self-control. No, let me let me let me uh correct that. Y'all learning something that we already knew. And easy, I get it. Cause I, I'm a nigga that grew up in shelters. Our first, our first act is attack. I get it. I'm a shelter nigga, so I can relate to see this one life star related. So many motherfuckers, bro. When you go through that type of shit, shelters moving from family to family. So many people talk about you. Your first result is fight. Fuck them all. All the time. Even if it's the truth, it's fuck them all. It's you bitch ass nigga. And you might deny because you woke up, you, you grew up with having to deny shit and say shit until I find out. Before my friends knew I lived in the shelter and saw me physically walking out with my family, they said, niggas was whispering it. Six, fifth grade, man, I think he live in the shelter. Man, I don't need no motherfucking shelter, bitch ass nigga, I'm ready to fight. At the same time, 
They finally called me out to go in that shelter, Debo, front door. Mm-hmm. I can't fight no more. They got me. Mm-hmm. They got me. I can't eat. They got me. Mm-hmm. It is what it is, for you. So it, a lot of resentment and shit come through when you go. Like, bro, poverty and coming up and struggle is post-traumatic, bro. We may act like we fine and good for that struggle. Mm-hmm. Struggle is a different type of, it do a different type of thing to the mind, bro. Mm-hmm. And that's what dude going through. He went through a lot of struggle. And you can't tell me because I'm a nigga that come from shelters and shit. And again, I transferred a lot of schools. My first thing, Debo, was fight. Mm-hmm. Fuck everybody. As soon as a nigga go against me, fuck everybody. Mm-hmm. Even when I was dirty, a nigga called me dirty, I probably would have fought because my mind. I'm already in. Nigga, I didn't been talked about too much at that time. Mm-hmm. And that shit get at, bro, you don't just break that shit as you get older, especially if you ain't become a star at something at that age, star in basketball, or become the nigga with all you fucking all the bitches and this, this, and that. Bro, when you get into that shit when you get old, it's like a drug, bro. Life is the biggest drug. You got to be able to handle this motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Perception a second. How people think of you is all, we always cared about. Oh, that. there's a learning tool. Uh, there's a learning tool space today. Okay. No, nah, we all, bro. At. Perception is just an average thing we could be, bro. My mama and daddy did drugs. And tell motherfucker actually seen my mama go cops and work. Hell yeah, I'll probably lie to say it. Nigga, hell, I'll fight you over there. And you probably seen my mama and I didn't. No, that's a Debo, fact, my bro. mama sold pussy, man. Rest in peace, our soul, for us to get by. Rest in peace, man. Rest in peace. My Certain mama sold pussy. I just act like I wasn't looking. You heard what Gay said that I felt that. That was my for anything for us to get by, Debo. So when, when it comes to humiliation or a nigga feeling away or trying to over exert himself to be, to over influence something that he know mm-hmm. true, that's what he do. I know mm-hmm. the emotions mm-hmm. because I watch your story and I'm a nigga that been in shelters, five shelters, no, eight, five shelters, eight different grammar schools. And I fought at every one of them for feeling lower than an average person, bro. And nothing had to do nothing with them people. Hey. And once I started getting it, I got in the mold, Debo, where I felt like, fuck niggas, these niggas can't fuck with me, and man, I ain't giving a nigga shit. And so you start thinking, like, bro, hold on. Yo, listen. Well, a nigga to campaign it. with you, you got to give him something to campaign about. You can't say niggas ain't with me because you ain't got shit to be with. Who want to be with a nigga with no direction? Here, his, was, his was crazy, though, Cola. His was crazy. For a nigga from, from an outside skirt perspective, like yourself, to know all this, you got a person in here right now that know damn near everything and shit like that. And, and and just kept shit to themselves. You know what I'm saying? It'd be the females in this battle rap shit, man. That'd be the real G's in the game, my nigga. Real shit. Well, you got to understand this, bro. See, what you do is you get a nigga like a blog nigga come out and tell one of them stories. And if he, depending on if he did some corny shit in the past to other battle rappers, it ain't this valid. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah, you saying some truth. But now, nah, get your goofy ass out of here because fuck what you saying, nigga. You done did all this other lame ass shit. So we finna wild you up. Ban him, get him the fuck out of here. He telling too much truth, basically, is what they saying. It's no fucking way, bro. Everybody be knowing what they knowing. It's for it's, it's for whenever you want to expose it. Because think about it. Every motherfucker that came out and something happened to him, somebody got a story to tell about his ass that just wasn't told. Or to put the facts on something extra just to finish his ass off. Huh? Let me put this last puzzle piece on what they already knew because, nigga, you acting a fool. And I need to hold this ace of spades because you been acting a fool. And I knew you may act a fool. Listen, bro, you got to listen, bro. In life, you got to hold cards, my nigga. It's just how it goes because you never know. You fight five cases with a nigga. You fight them all. That sixth case, he might tell on you. Because every time your trust is to be tested, nigga. That's what trust is. Every time your trust is to be tested. I'm trusting off the last time that you're going to do what you did last time, this time. But I'm still testing your trust on this time because this time mm-hmm. you may and fall. That, and yeah. that's a fact. That is, like, bro, that's what are you fact. talking about? That's a fact. Your friends and your yeah, motherfucking, your true. friends, your friends trust and, 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 and shit like that is, is tested every day. And every scenario y'all get in, maybe when you need them, you call them for a ride, how he, maybe how he responded, because it may end that you can't give him the ride. It's how you told me you weren't going to give me the ride. You could have said, folks, my baby mama tripping, I can't even do it. I'm going to honor that. But nigga, I keep giving you rides with knowing you can't give me this ride because your baby mama tripping instead of just saying that. You didn't just try to front me off like I'm some bitch ass nigga, like I ain't gave you 20,000 rides in time of the need. Because niggas are lie about the simple shit. Not knowing a real nigga going to accept the small shit. Because any nigga with kids know how that family shit go. You've been running the streets three, four days, bro. There's no way I can get out right now. She on me. A real nigga know that, bro. Man, that's a fact, bro. You ain't saying no lie. That is mm-hmm. a fucking fact. Motherfucker know what you going. Nigga, you talk to me every day. 
If you mm-hmm. my man, I'd hit Don Lino, man. My baby mama on some other shit, bro. You already know my story. Mm-hmm. You ain't even got to speculate what's going on with what my mental at because I'm talking to you as my mans every day. Man, I got to get this money. I'm fucked up. My baby mama on you. You, you telling me every day, I got this for you, but it's going to be all right. You can do this, do that, but I can't give you that because he ain't in that position, but he keeping it real with me. So when it's spin back around and you get mad, you can't be bitch ass nigga when you was going through that with your baby. But bro, we both went through shit with our baby mama. You my mans. I consulted with you like you consult with me. Mm-hmm. But now you finna act like I was on some bitch ass nigga shit calling you about some shit as my man. That's what these niggas be doing, bro. Yo, Cola, it's crazy. I go back to that, right? Because the tear of fan, to see that battle, you're seeing the optics on so many different levels. If you're a certain tier of fan, you only see it like a like 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 just okay, probably bars and some mud slinging. But if you are like a like a uh, like a big level tier fan that been here for a while. Everything is dissected right in front of your face. Like, damn, this is crazy. Well, you got to think about this. There's no disrespect. This is just how the conversation got to go. I didn't seen them lose, in my opinion, to a nigga like Twerk, to a nigga like Snake Eyes, to a nigga like Fonz. In my opinion, a nigga like Shine. Not maybe a debatable, but I ain't thought he won a battle. I thought the Reed beat him. But, again, look how the ego go. When you got so many niggas saying you ain't never lost, that's already a lie. You know us a lie. We know us a lie. You already letting the lie. Instead of you keeping it real like, nah, niggas got me. You rocking with the, you want the shit so much, you're rocking with the lie. And anybody that say something against it is a dick eater now and gets full disrespect of what we seen with our eyes, bro. Mm-hmm. Bro, that's, that's dangerous. That's dangerous. That's fucking for me to see you lose, the world see you lose. And niggas to tell you you still undefeated and lose before you went on your streak. We seen you lose battle off URL, bro. Like I said, I just mentioned about it. We seen Twerk while you up. We seen Snake Eyes while you up. We know you come from paying battles. You know, so you should about- be one of the most humble niggas in this culture with your success. You done got around this motherfucker like Jacques Cousteau. Niggas say Jacques Cousteau. Niggas say come from paying battles. Like, why you, you could have left that out? <laughs> nah, if it's not the truth, though, twerk. I'm, bro, y'all think I'm trying to get out on a nigga. Nigga, truth is his truth. I just gave you five truths about me. I just told you my mama sold pussy. I just told you my mother, we got put out on the front. Bro, I ain't, I ain't hide shit from you. So th- listen with that, twerk. Now a nigga got to understand my style. If I ain't going to hide myself from you, why the fuck I'm going to hide what I know about you in battle rap terms? It ain't like I'm talking about you, person. I gave you something personal. Now, you telling me if I feel like you lost a battle or I'm, or I'm saying you look like you was an opportunist to gun titles after a blog you did and how you talking, how the fuck you mad at me when my job is media, even as a nigga that fuck with you and your job is battle rapper? But I didn't ask you to do that blog that I got to respond to neither. So you want my job to take a back seat to your image and how, what you talk about to save our friendship? That ain't no friendship. That ain't we cool. That ain't you fuck with me. That's you. That's real dick sucker shit. And that's now to punish you conditions. for that. Now to punish you for that, these same platforms that was getting you. And if you, I ain't coming on y'all platform, I make y'all money, bro. It's a thousand battle rappers we can bring on and make us money. But the fact that you think like that, you didn't got beyond yourself, bro. And what Geechee just did in that battle is should make you say, you know what? Because you've been you you've been you've been humbled whether you want to accept it or not. And now with that story, y'all could have put out on the front front. You yourself could have did. Geechee didn't want to took this motherfucker and went viral with it. Now, Remy Ma, next seven, eight shows, somebody going to clunk up across the head with, what's going on with the... Oh, my God. No bullshit, bro. Oh, my God. No bullshit. And then again, Crazy. all the people you were saying ain't nothing happening this, this, and third to tell us if, if you ain't did, that mean you still got the woman. Which one is it? If you if you telling us you got Remy Ma or you got snuff, wow. like which one is it? Because again, if I, I told you the angle, I would have took yesterday. Y'all would say I would have been in there. Y'all acting like a nigga ain't never lost a fight before. Yeah, nigga hit me. I wasn't looking, but nigga, if I would have caught him, if it wasn't Remy, I would have did something different. Like I would have been in there just keeping it on it. I would have tried to portray what could have happened if this, 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 and that. I'm not in that bitch that he's same in disaster. You threw us a little ooh, ooh, but you ain't really say nothing. Like, bro, that's not helping you. And I told y'all that's how Meek lost. That's how Meek lost Nikki. You Philly niggas too clean. Y'all too clingy, bro. Y'all don't know what to do with these type of situations arrive, bro. You niggas too clingy. 
You all up there trying to get a hug and kiss in front of in front of the company. Bro, say that for the room and back out. She, you know she got to do interviews. She got to put you on point. You supposed to be the street nigga. She putting you on point. Cameras, watch out. No bars got it between the dreads. Like, come on, bro. You supposed to been looking. No bars got the... Hey, hey Turk, no bars got the... <laughs> she definitely peeped that camera. <laughs> no bars. Niggas try to get a hug and kiss. <laughs> he tried to get a hug and kiss in front of the people to let them know it's real. Oh, she like, bro, boy, man. the camera's like, relax. <laughs> you already ate this motherfucker. Relax. Yo, you that crazy. Yeah, that crazy. That shit you said yesterday about Philly niggas, man. <laughs> Philly niggas with their relationship. How Nicky and me. Them niggas too clingy, man. Philly niggas too clingy. <laughs> you seen you seen Meek Mill? He, he trying to get kisses all at the NBA game. Like, Meek, we know you got to relax. <laughs> now Nicky got to look all up at this. Like, come on. Like, come on. Like, slow. You got to. <laughs> We see you meek, relax. <laughs> you got it. You supposed Y'all to be in a private hey, you to, Listen, listen, listen Debo, instead of him, he trying to see, listen, bro. That's what I'm trying. Let me teach these niggas, man. You supposed to see Meek supposed to be linked back, wait for Nikki to lean back, look over him, then kiss him on his cheek. Then he follow that up with a you see what I'm saying? Play a shit. You don't at, in public, you wait for her to initiate. You don't go out there trying to initiate like no player. You look like a herd. When a nigga see another nigga try to go kiss his woman in public, we know you trying to let everybody know that's your woman. You look like a herd, but you look more powerful when you at the bar and your woman in, then popped up. And, baby, what you ordering? Uh, hit that cheek. You, yeah. Uh, now you pecker. Y'all keep going on about the bitch. You look like a boss in there. Play y'all. Y'all niggas better learn something, man. I'm trying to teach y'all something. Y'all all out in public trying to force the kiss, bro. That ain't for the man. That's for the woman. Gee, babe, give me a kiss. You, all right, babe. Yeah, bullshit. You niggas out there trying to give me a kiss. And you, you trying to show a nigga you got a bad one with you. Trying to show y'all more than friends. Man, you niggas crazy, man. Hey, you funny as hell. I don't be lying, Gucci, though, that nigga oh, Gucci no, had, you don't, no. <laughs> That nigga Geechee had two battles. That shit was crazy. 14 days he cooked that up for him. That's what that niggas, niggas ain't add that in. Y'all love to say how niggas had these battles all close. He nah, had a, he had a I ain't battle. no 14 days. Come on. Listen, listen. He knew about the battle, but he had coffee. He, nigga had five battles since they've been booked. He got three after that. that nigga finna battle Oppa, Hollow Hand, and another nigga on Homecoming. That nigga, that nigga Geechee say, I'm looking at number four. They playing. They playing. I'm trying. I'm, you know how you talking. They playing. You know how Geechee say, they playing, cuz. They playing. For him to cook that up, man. And that These niggas playing, cuz. Nutty. Oh, nutty. These niggas playing, cuz. You know how he <laughs> Stop playing. Beat your motherfucking ass. I love when these niggas get in those sections. I'll beat your motherfucking ass. He said, you wear glasses, nigga. You don't know nothing about no fucking battle rap. Right? Nigga don't know about no drugs, nigga. You don't know about no Nutty will beat your ass. Oh, Nutty will beat your ass. Hey, hey, stop playing with me, for real. Hey, you know when a nigga want to cook you, he's trying to get back to the raps. He's like, oh, Nutty, hey, stop, for real. But, hey, he's getting back to the rap. I'm like, nah, I guess you want to cook this nigga for real. But he like, let me get up off this nigga real quick. That nigga couldn't even finish his sentence. He really wanted to go knock on the fuck out. He like, hey, stop playing for real. <laughs> no, man, that shit was funny as hell, no. Crib Street. Yeah, yo, bro, was... you niggas. And two, the last thing, bro, get them. Listen, John, I know Johnny Mac and all them niggas grown men. But easy. Them people are representation of you now, man. Them people are out of pocket for how they did Tay Rock, man. Yeah, he they out of pocket. Niggas. Stop. Tay Rock ain't trying to divide no Philly, nigga. Y'all started that shit. Y'all try to act like Battle Academy don't exist. Mm. Y'all act like easy the only motherfucker that got Philly back. See, that's what I don't like. That's what I don't like. Y'all be talking about it's for the city. All this shit talk about, y'all ain't talk about how even doing away brought it back. Battle Academy was already putting on dynamic shit for the city. Mm -hmm. Big cards, big names, BOT Rex, shit like that. Mm -hmm. Dynamic shit, jazz to the city, even easy. Y'all just act like the trenches just then brought it all. That's what I'm saying, bro. Y'all already been on that divide and conquer shit. Not us. That been y'all. That's why even with the shit with what y'all put on the internet, not me talking about some chatty patty shit. Like I know, no, y'all on there with Leak Moss got to come up and argue with you niggas and tell you niggas you all ain't really like that because y'all fake acting like y'all got some Muslim poppy. Listen. I told this shit yesterday. I fuck with niggas like Muslim Poppy. You need a nigga that's gonna ride, win, lose, or draw. But you're causing too many problems, Muslim Poppy. Every time some come up with easy, you are the first guy they talk about. Muslim Poppy, Muslim Poppy, Muslim Poppy. You have to stop, bro, because you make and defend yourself. You're gonna get somebody else hurt, bro. 
I'm telling y'all, this how I always go. Respectfully speaking, much, I ain't about And you've been doing this now. shit since Goods Battle. Go back to Goods Battle. Goods and them almost had a had an altercation right front center, my boy Muslim Poppy. And I ain't got no problem with him. I, listen, I give niggas, like I said, I salute niggas that's, that's going to ride with they captive, folks. Right there. Yeah, nigga, you, it's nothing you can tell me not to ride with my mans. That's real nigga shit. But, bro, mm -hmm. you have to relax. Because from the lives I'm seeing, I'm seeing bro saying he going to turn it up. Y'all yeah. over here feeling the way. Johnny Mac in the car getting live. He, Tay Rock, a whole ass nigga. Well, listen, bro, you may feel that way. But this niggas in Philly that love Tay Rock. And they riding for him like he where one of y'all. Where these niggas came from? Like, that's what I really be wanting. I was about to say that because my shit, like, I've been feeling I said the niggas changed from. Listen, you listen, go back to Stumbles and all that. The niggas want me. Listen, listen. I've been dealing with you all stages. Years, bro. I've been like, dealing, yeah, I've been dealing with you all stages for years, man. I seen twerk authorized them niggas been around. I see them niggas for years. Sure, well, y'all gotta remember. Y'all gotta remember. Years. Let's put the facts to the facts. Y'all gotta remember. One of the first reasons them niggas came out in the first time in the Philly way, remember Surf, they was invite, Surf had invited the niggas down for the shit, remember? Because first, remember, Surf was mixing it up with the Philly niggas and all that, way before the we Quilly shit, you know, live telling them this, this, and that. Remember, NH was supposed to be Midnight Madness gun titles and all that. So he was already mixing it up with them. Like I told y'all, Sue Surf told us publicly, we asked him, is easy the block captain with gun titles for Midnight Madness? He say no. I told Easy, go get Philly together. Go get Philly on. This is Surf saying this shit. Nobody disputed it then. I'm telling y'all what Surf said. And Surf was, ask Meek Raw. Surf was the first nigga mixing it up with them niggas on them Instagram lives. I was watching them. They were. Johnny Mac was the first niggas we seen saying, who is boy? Way live. What's my man's side? Like, I ain't never seen boy. Way from what side? That was them we watched. With surfing all them, and them, that was them. Now, so some, some way, somehow, my nigga Rock, the one who helped them get this light as well for y'all to stand behind him. Y'all calling him a bitch ass nigga when y'all just showed up and y'all was the main niggas got the whole world questioning what he from in Philly. Make that make sense. This ain't to disrespect nobody. We just trying to get the facts right. Cause we thought boy was all was dude. We seen that we like, oh yeah, Philly nigga. He bringing Philly back. First thing we say, who is boy? You rapping Philly? Where you from? We like, oh shit. We, we disregarded that nigga. Start standing in the battles. We still was like, uh. Reed that, Dollar but, sat down and said that shit. We like, oh buddy. But when Sir, but when Sir said that, was that the Philly niggas that was hating on him because they wasn't? You know what I'm saying? He wasn't trying to recognize Peep them or this. put them on. Peep this. We had. No, Surf was just telling them you got the power now. Enough now with us to go do your thing and put the city back. What's gonna be? You know, Surf is great at marketing, bro. That nigga's a marketing genius, bro. He know this shit sleeping. That boy know this shit sleep, Debo. Mm -hmm. He know what get the people going. Mm -hmm. He know how to get this bitch. He know. But even when he called in, and he said, when they asked him, they said, "What about you verse Easy?" And he said, "Bro." The way I live and the way I walk and the shit I'm going through coming out of jail, I beat the dog shit out easy. You know what they said? Sue Surf, you hating. You doing this. He didn't, you hating on easy because he hotter than him. Why would he be hating on a nigga? He's saying what he'll do to a nigga out there. I'll just seen Surf do what Verb did three times in a row. Mm -hmm. That shit Verb did. We seen Verb do, we seen Surf do that shit three times in a row. Mm -hmm. From the face offs and, 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 and even in the ones from 40, go to 40 bars and even in those. Mm -hmm. Face offs dynamic. Promo up to that in the space is dynamic. Why throwing battles and hosting the league? Why still getting it popping? Mm -hmm. Why on Instagram? Why coming back on this bitch late night and promoting the OnlyFans, bitches? Mm -hmm. and, like, bro, stop playing. That man, bro, that man was, why going to Rolling Loud after a battle? What are you talking about, runs? Like, bro, salute for a run. It was Noah's art. But that nigga shit was Moses. Niggas putting blood on top of the doors for the sons and everything. Niggas was getting lit. Every battle rapper that was in the dumpster, it think they somebody now because of that run. Every nigga that was in the dumpster think he one of them. Every fan that was in that run think they one of them. Mm -hmm. And again, I remember when the, when, the turn, when the tide changed. Right before he went to jail, his first ever time back in that Verb space when he was giving that man salute everybody. Boom, 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 boom shit. That's when Verb got, he, he got some secret ooze back on my mama. 
Because niggas seen surf out of him. Because everybody know, I love y'all. And I ain't getting down on Verb. When that nigga Verb have a space, if surf showed up in a space, Verb shit drain like a Duracell battery. You can hear it. You can hear the juice come about that motherfucker. I ain't lying. <laughs> You can hear the you can hear the energy coming from that power down. You know how that you can hear the generators closing. Come, 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 come. You damn. Pause. What I do? I make click sound. What you pausing? You freaky G early. It's, it's, early. it's 11 30. You just said you can feel a juice coming out that motherfucker. <laughs> the energy, the electricity, bro. What are you talking about? Wow, bro, that was crazy, bro. Juice it ain't juice crazy. coming out you anyway. <laughs> ain't no juice coming. Ain't no juice coming out the women, twerk. Ain't no juice coming out of us. That's... Juice coming out the, the women, folk. We ain't, we ain't letting no juice out, folk. What you on? Uh, I'm done this coming. Yeah, I, I am too. Like, what you talking about? Like, knock the juice out something. Gotta be some pussy anyway. Can't be there. Like, you ain't knocking no juice out for like, what's up? <laughs> 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 <That's crazy, laughs> if I'm talking about knocking the juice out something, I'm talking about some pussy anyway. <laughs> hey, hey, so yo, if I'm yo, talking yo, about yo, draining the Cola, when, he, when he did his, his little his little live rant talking about the frozen bird nigga, that nigga wasn't talking about no fighting and no shit like that, was he? No, nah, bro, cause no, why would he be? Bro, I fuck listen, okay. bro. Me and dude really fuck with each other like that. That's why I don't understand why he tried to say he took that panda as disrespect to even say the surf shit. No, you was already in your fifis about that easy shit. That's why now it's easier for you to say, yeah, a big K and yeah, big big. Don't say what Cola said. We going on with you sitting on the couch with a nigga that's clearly you was just saying a front rhythm. He the algorithm nigga in the five episodes. You was acting like it was no nigga fucking with him just three episodes ago. <laughs> that's no, a fact. for real. That's a, fact. that's a fact. So when I see and again, think about this. I just told you. Me and his argument come from something that had nothing to do with him, bro. It's like if I see Don Nino and Twerk having a conversation, arguing with a nigga. I fuck with Don 